So I thought I'd take the chance to kind of explain what I use in the real world situation <laughs> that we're in. I always have a, a liter of water. Secondly, I've got a collapsible water bottle, can handle one more liter. So I also carry a few, in this case, three of these dry bags. This one is for my extra clothes. Um, rain fly for my pack cover. If you're sitting up in the mountains and it's pouring down rain on you, or if, you're, if it's windy, you can always pull the pack cover out. You know, pull it over your legs if you're glassing. So I typically pack one electrolyte per day. And I, I shouldn't say just pack one. I usually have a couple, couple of these, um, at least enough to get me through the whole trip. So my program is I basically pack six to eight bars per day, and that is lunch. So then uh, on to gloves. I carry two pairs of gloves typically, uh, certainly in, in early season. One is just a super light pair. Uh, if you slip and fall or whatever and you've got a little bit of protection. So I really like a, a light pair for that reason. And then a heavier pair, more durable pair for, you know, when it's raining and things are nasty. So then I have a pair of sunglasses. So that we're out here for, we planned for seven to eight days. So I ha have an extra pair of underwear and an extra pair of socks. They go in this bag here. So this is, a, <laughs> this is my head torch. It's pretty small and very light. I have here a neck gaiter and that kind of goes in with my, with my luxury items in the bottom of my clothes bag. And bullets and I keep them in a little pouch just to keep them protected. This is my range finder. It's the Vortex Ranger, the 1800. I've been very happy with that. And my hat or my toque, which is mandatory in sheep country for sure. Then I have a knife and in reach so I can keep comms with back home and let everybody know what's going on, how things are, how things are working out. I've got my Razer HDs, 10 by 42s. They're kind of the standard. I don't use any higher power of a binocular than a, than a 10. So then um, this is my rain gear. I've got pants and a jacket in here, a toiletry bag. You know, I've got toothpaste, toothbrush. Uh, I've got eye drops and I also have some ibuprofen and a few band-aids in there. I carry a zero Celsius bag uh, all year long, basically. <laughs> Often in the mountains, it could be 10, 15 degrees Celsius down in the valley, but up on the top of the mountain where you've got your tent set up, uh, it's freezing. So I, I can always just keep it open if it's warm, like the last few days here. And then these are my pants that I wore mainly this whole hunt. Uh, otherwise, the clothing that I've got, I've got all on my body right now. I've got long johns underneath, underneath these, the uh, down pants. And this is the Peloton 240. This is my favorite piece of clothing right here. It's a mid-layer, the down jacket underneath. <clears throat> this is the ultra down. And I keep it with me all the time because it's so fast and light that I can just pull it out throw it on and I'm almost instantly warm. So that's about it. Everything uh, goes into my Icon Pro. So this is a 7200 that I carry on, on sheep hunts. Even, even if I'm hunting moose, pack rafting or whatever we're doing, we carry these anyways. So then uh, trekking poles, collapsible, typically carbon. I do have a few sets of, of aluminum poles. I prefer the carbon poles. So what, I'm, what I don't have right, right now is, because it's just down the valley with all the sheep, with the sheep meat is I left my gun down there and I also left my map and my map case holder and my spotting scope. And there's the tent right there. So the, the one thing that we're also missing is the stove. We're building breakfast with it right now. What you're not seeing is the bars and the food is 
obviously is more than what I've got here. Early on in the hunt, that's the main, the main weight. So when I left home for this eight day hunt, I had approximately 52 pounds of, of weight. Now, I would say that 10 pounds of that is food. And so I probably was carrying about 40 to 42 pounds of gear.